Boris has come to meet Dr. Regina Kehler at the Stuttgart archive, which holds the files on the Royal House of Württemberg. The whole family. Okay, let's see. Aha, that looks pretty serious. Can I hold that? file of... Prince und Prinzessin Paul. Yeah. 1816 to 1852. Hey, boy. Could these files contain some reference to Caroline that would prove she is Prince Paul's daughter? There's a lot of stuff about her. Yeah, it starts with this report. The file relates to the years 1828 to 29, when Caroline was 23 years old. Okay, ah, wait, 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 okay. Caroline, hang on, something, something, what does that say? Caroline of Rottenburg. Mm -hmm. She came in the month of August to Stuttgart. Yes. Because she wanted to um, talk to the King William. So why she come to see him? Uh, it's written here. Um, she tells him that she's a natural daughter of Prince Paul and that she had left his house where she lived with him. With Prince Paul? Yeah. So she was perfectly accepted by him as his daughter? I think so. Yeah. Even though she was not legitimate? Yeah. But this wasn't in Stuttgart. She lived with him in Paris. She lived with him in Paris, Paris, Paris. yeah. She left him. She says because he wants to, um, to marry her to a man she doesn't want to be yeah, married, right. yes. And that's why she left his house. No kidding. Mm. Right, OK. When she left him, she had no money. So she went to Stuttgart to her uncle, Uncle King. Uncle King? <laughs> uncle King William. Well, he was literally her uncle. He yeah. was really her yeah. uncle. Yeah. 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 And to ask him for some um, sub substitution? How do you some something? money? Yeah. Yeah. Did she get any money? Yes, she got it. <laughs> she did get some money. Yeah, yeah. She got a gift from the king. Great. Mm -hmm. What was it? This list says it's silver. Did she get silver? From his silver, yes. Not the Befeffel silver. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's that was the thing that was in the chest in my job. <laughs> it's amazing what you say here about the silver because before I left London. My aunt Birdie gave me a picture of the De Feffel silver. Mm. Can you tell me what this what does this list yeah, say? The twelve silver spoons. Twelve silver spoons. A big a coffee pot. Yeah, yeah. check. Big yeah, coffee pot. Yeah. We got big coffee pot. An another little pot. Little pot. Yeah. We got little pot. Yes. And something for the sugar. You know. Yes. Sugar, definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, King. Thanks to him, my grandparents <laughs> went to Australia. It's <laughs> a very, very, That's very. Good. Thoughtful. So they didn't flog off the Defeffel silver, they flogged off the Württemberg silver. So if she was the daughter of Paul, mm -hmm. then it follows that. And who's the, who the Paul the son of? Um, of King uh, Frederick the I. King, but, yeah. okay, that's yeah. good. I like this. The King father thing. of King William and of Prince Paul. Yeah. Okay, who is King Frederick? What do we know about him? It's a, it's a first Württemberg king, and um, if you want to know more about the family um, of Württemberg of this time, go to Ludwigsburg, where's a big castle. Ludwigsburg, a castle? Yeah. A proper one. It needs to be reclaimed. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> have a look at it. I think you can check out the castle. Right, well, here we are, back at the little family place in the country. And uh, obviously they've gone ahead to tell, the, tell that I'm coming back, haven't they? I mean, they, they? They know I'm coming, we're going to be bringing, bringing the luggage later. And uh, I guess we're going to install ourselves in um, <laughs> the east wing. <laughs> God, look at that. Schloss or what? That is ein Schloss. Ludwigsburg was the ancestral home of the kings of Württemberg. Hello! It's now owned by the German state. A stonking great schloss. Boris is being met by historian <laughs> Dr. Raphael Ertz. Hello. How do you do? Hello. Raphael, hello. Boris Johnson. How do you do? Oh, Hi, yeah. great, great pleasure to meet you. Hello. Great hello. pleasure to meet you. Raphael, I want to know about the guys who lived here, because the theory is, which we're rapidly establishing, is that my great, 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 great grandfather is a guy called Frederick, or was a guy called Frederick of 
Württemberg. Yes, the first yeah. king, Frederick the first. The first. Yes, yes, yes. Who lived here? Did he? He lived here indeed. And in fact, um, his apartments are over here. Wow. Posh or what? Throne room. Fantastic. I like it very much, he asked. At the heart of the palace lies the Gallery of Ancestors, with portraits of Boris's newfound ancestors, the Dukes and Kings of Württemberg. And here we have um, Frederick. This is Frederick. Frederick I, who, um, who was behind his back actually called um, the Potbelly Regent. He's quite a hefty guy, isn't he? His wife, of course, um, who, as, as you know, is, um, is the mother of Prince Paul. Yes. And her lineage is particularly interesting. So she is, of course, you know, Augusta Caroline, Princess of Brunswick. Oh, yeah, she rings a bell. And she... um, the wonderful thing is her mother is... Her mother is... Oh, look at this, Augusta Hanover. Yeah, Princess Royal of Great Britain and Ireland, 1738. No, okay, so how, just, hang on, Raphael, I'm completely bewildered here. And that is, and, that's some, who is the And her father? Her father is Frederick Louis Hanover, Prince of Wales in Britain. Well, yes, there is only one Prince of okay, Wales. Okay, 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 no, I just want to nail this time, down. Really? I want to nail this down, yeah. Wales, England. I mean, Wales, Britain. Wales, Britain. Britain, I think you want to be very <laughs> yeah, okay, careful. Yeah, Wales, whatever. Britain, yeah. Um, and his father, this of course... Is... No. So, wait a minute. King George II a Great Britain and Ireland. OK, so we'll say, if you take this from the top here, Raphael, yes. he is my great, great, He's your great, 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 great grandfather. Eight times, yes. Right. Well, there you go. I've, and if you... And if always, you're... I've sort of dimly suspected this for a long time, of course. No matter of no real... <laughs> no real surprise. No real, actually, complete, oh, actually I'm... I am um, more than surprised. I'm very, I'm stupefied actually by this. It not only makes you a descendant of George II, you are in fact related to all <laughs> European royal houses there are. To the Romanovs, you're related to the Swedish royal family, yeah. the Dutch royal family, the Prussians, the Hohenzollerns, all yes. of them. But there's a kind of kink in the whole in the whole thing when with the with the element of illegitimacy there. Yes. That's the unfortunate element yes. there. You you are a genetic relative, but not in any legal or dynastic sense. I think we'd have to. I think the law, because the lawyers take a very dim view nowadays of people who you know discriminate against illegitimate children. Well, I wish you luck. No, it's a big issue. And if you ever want <laughs> to sublet any of this place, you know, <laughs> let me know. There you go. Well, all thanks to Granny Butter. <laughs> And the defeckles, how extraordinary, how amazing. Well, if you told me I was related to George II, I'd have, I'd have thought you were absolutely crackers because, you know, not even Granny Butter in her wildest dreams could have come up with, with that one. I would, be, I would have been terribly proud to have been the descendant of the great, huge, fat, belligerent-looking German king. But I'm, you know, I can't hide it from you. E you know, even in this, you know, European, even in our common European home, I'm particularly thrilled to find that I have some British <laughs> royal ancestry as well, you know. I guess I always thought of myself and always thought of our family as being basically a bunch of Turkish, Jewish, mixed with this weird Granny Butter, Baron de Feffel stuff. So I always felt a bit of a, um, you know, as I say, the, pro the product of incomers, product of, uh, uh, of newcomers to Britain. So it's totally bizarre, surreal, to be told that, in fact, my great times eight grandfather is George II. But on the other hand, don't neglect this point, that insofar as he is my great times eight grandparent, he shares that distinction with, I calculate, no fewer than 1,023 other people. <laughs> so there must be several tens of thousands, I mean, some of you could work it out, of other people who are unknowingly in the same situation as me. Basically, the whole thing's mad. The whole thing's very, very bizarre.
But actually, it turns out that Granny was right. It turns out that Granny was right and, and we were wrong to snigger. Of course, there are various other castles I have to capture <laughs> in the course of, you know, my, my general hoovering up of the thrones of Europe. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a good start.